Okay, so uh, welcome. And in this lecture, we are going to summarize the complete chapter on visualizing the solid shapes using a mind map or a concept map or an idea map, whatever you prefer to call it. So let us begin our discussion. First, we discussed about plane figures and plane figures are two-dimensional figures. When I say two-dimension, it implies that they change in breadth and length or length and breadth. And the common examples of two-dimensional figures which we all see in our day-to-day -day lives would be paper. I mean, you can draw anything on paper. For example, a circle, a square, a rhombus, any polygon. These are all the plane figures. So this was our discussion about plane figures. Then we discussed the idea of solid shapes. And the main difference between the plane figures and the solid shapes was the addition of third dimension. And third dimension implies the depth. So if we see the actual shapes in our day-to-day -day lives, there is a length, breadth and height or a concept of a depth. So that is why we say that solid shapes have three dimensions. And then we also discuss the concept of faces, edges and vertices for the solid shapes. So what are the edges? Edges are nothing but the line segments which form the skeleton of the solid shape. They are the edges. What are the faces? The area or the plane area that is enclosed by the edges on a particular side is they are known as the faces for that solid shape and then vertices vertices are simply the points where the line segments meet or where or, or the end points where the end points of the line segments or where the edges meet in simple words vertices are the points where these edges meet for a shape so that was our discussion on the solid shapes then we continued our discussion on visualizing the solid shapes by understanding the concept of a net for a solid shape and a net is nothing but a two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional shape so the usefulness of net net lies in the fact that if you unfold a solid shape you get a flat structure a two-dimensional representation of that solid shape so when you fold a net you get the solid shape back and we also studied several examples of nets then we focused on how to draw the solids on flat surfaces so the first method that we discussed was oblique drawing and um, the quick steps in oblique drawing were to draw the front face and the back face first and then join the line segments we took an example of a cuboid and understood and uh, the the uh, uh, the other method which we studied was isometric drawing and isometric drawing uses a special isometric paper which divides the whole paper into small triangular areas and the main difference which we saw in oblique drawing and isometric drawing was that the dimensions or the the lengths of the edges that we get in an isometric drawing correspond to the actual lengths of the solid whereas in oblique drawing that was not the case and we also understood that it is convenient for us to draw oblique drawing using paper which has squares or a squared paper so that was about oblique drawing and isometric drawing and this is what uh, we we also did the comparison of it and then we also took a special case in trying to visualize solid objects when not all the sides are visible so the goal is that if we cannot see all the sides but we can see a portion of the sides or a portion of the solid shape how do we guess what are the what, what, what is the complete shape or how do we visualize the complete shape and we also took some examples for that so that was our discussion on how do we draw solids on flat surfaces. Then we went to and discussed an important section on what are the various methods to view these sections of solids. 
and in that we discuss three methods the first one is a method of cutting which is simply when we cut a particular solid then we see its cross section and just to recollect the axis of cutting will change the section that we see for the solid a good example would be to try it out in the kitchen and be careful with the knife the other method was the shadow method in which if you put a light source in before a uh, before a solid shape and project it on a screen you will see the cross section area of that and we also understood that if we change the position of the shape of solid object or the position of the light source the cross section that is cast on the white screen will be different and then another important method which we studied was viewing the sec the solid or solid object from different angles and more specifically we viewed it from a side any of the sides from the uh, front and from the top and we also understood that it's uh, this this method is very much useful in our day to day lives so this was the complete discussion on visualizing solid shapes